New tools within ArcGIS Online and InfraWorks will allow you to use authoritative, up-to-date GIS with BIM to help drive more informed decisions, better stakeholder collaboration and communication, accelerated project approvals, and more resilient infrastructure. Within InfraWorks, we've used the model builder functionality to create a base model of the Bell Staff project, and we're collaborating with multiple stakeholders on this. We can use the data sources button to enrich our model with GIS data and models. On the data sources panel, as well as being able to add shapefiles, CAD files, connecting to databases and more, you can now connect directly to content hosted in ArcGIS Online. Click the globe logo and you'll be directed to sign into ArcGIS Online. The data panel will appear and the ArcGIS Online content that you have permission to use will appear on the left. The dark square here on the map denotes the spatial extents of the model, but you can click and drag a new square to denote your area of interest. Content falling outside of this area will be filtered out. Click the checkbox on the thumbnail of the layer that you want to add, and a small yellow alert sign will pop up in the top right. This is where you can choose the feature type of the content you're using. In this case, we're going to choose buildings from the drop down menu. You can choose single feature layers, or you can click on a web map and choose from layers within that map. For example, we'll choose a layer from the planning and zoning map. It's the same process. Select the layers you want and deselect the ones you don't want. This feature layer is a land use layer and we'll make it a coverage area within our InfraWorks model. Continue to add content, for example, from the electric data map will bring in streetlights as city furniture. And once all the content has been added, click the Add to my design project button and it will be added to your InfraWorks model. Within InfraWorks, the ArcGIS content will appear on the data sources panel. And if you click on one of the new features, you'll notice that the ArcGIS feature attributes have been appended to the InfraWorks schema. These layers can be configured in the same way as any other content. Attribute fields can be mapped to schema fields and the way in which the feature is drawn can be set as well. This content can also be controlled via the Model Explorer panel and the Surface Layer panel, and feature themes can be applied to color assets based on attribute data. Content can be symbolized using 3D models, either from InfraWorks style database or specialized imported models created by your organization. Now that we've created a base model and enriched it with up-to-date GIS data, we can continue to add content for our project. The Bell staff development is conducting an audit on hydrants around the project area, since some may need to be moved and replaced as part of the building project. We can add the hydrants from the water audit map and map their features to city furniture. Once the features have been added to the model, we can set the style rule choosing a fire hydrant model from the city furniture collection. If we zoom into a hydrant, we can click on it to see the attribute data associated with it, which in this case is almost nothing. And this is one of the reasons for the audit. In the next video in the series, we can create a new feature layer within ArcGIS Online and populate it with some data shared to one of our collaboration groups. We can then use this layer for both crews collecting data in the field and within our InfraWorks model.